it is our responsibility to remember it. There is Holocaust denial, which is a very sad feature of our society, and uh, we have a responsibility to the victims and to the survivors to guarantee that it will be remembered. There is, of course, also time and uh, the survivors uh, yeah. are getting old, so inevitably, presumably will, to a certain extent, retreat from modern consciousness. Absolutely, and you know, I've just come from the Holocaust Memorial Day National Ceremony, very moving today, and for me the central aspect of it was the cry that the survivors are issuing to us, please guarantee that this will never be forgotten. Because every year at these ceremonies, there are few of them. And to put it at its simplest, what is the unique significance of the Holocaust? Why should we never forget it? The Holocaust was a Europe-wide attempt in order to annihilate a people. The sheer extent of it. If you visit the Birkenau extermination camp and you see hut after hut after hut, if you go to forests throughout Europe, if you see the extent to which thousands upon thousands of people were collaborators joining in this effort led by national governments in order to exterminate a people together with others, this is something extraordinary. And the Prince of Wales in his speech he mentioned uh things that have happened in Africa and, and elsewhere around the world, but is there still something, is it the scale of it, is the fact that it was happening in what was regarded as the centre of civilization that makes it so shocking? I think you, you've actually highlighted what is special about the Holocaust, but of course there is so much that we can learn from the Holocaust in order to apply within our society. I think it's important for us to engage in education in order that through awareness of what transpired all those years ago, we'll be able to be armed to prevent it ever recurring. Do you think that the reaction, the discovery of the Holocaust has meant that uh, anti-Semitism is now a much weaker force than it was uh, in uh, the last century? We're not trying to compete with others in order always to be at the top of the list. Unfortunately, recent events have shown that anti-Semitism is now on an increase in the world and also statistics show in the UK as well. But you know, everybody today is on the front line. Events in Paris within a few days showed us how today everybody is genuinely concerned. Why do you think it is that people revisit this issue? Is it because of Israel? You know, anti-Semitism has existed from the very time that the Jewish people existed. Um, there is general racism and xenophobia, and there is a particular hatred. It's called the longest hatred of the Jew. So the existence of the State of Israel didn't create anti-Semitism. Sometimes, not always, but sometimes, anti-Zionism creates an environment within which anti-Semitism can thrive. And many people would say that the behavior of the State of Israel, unfortunately, its attitude towards the Palestinians and what's happened there has uh, poured fuel on a, you know, anti-Semitism to a certain extent. Anti-Semitism is a phenomenon that has existed for many, many years. Mm. And uh, actually, as I see it, a lot of what is happening in the Middle East comes as a result of anti-Semitism and is not provoking anti-Semitism. You don't think that the policies of the present Israeli government is, is to a certain extent, fuels anti-Semitism? Well, you know, in Israel itself, which is a very robust uh, democracy, there are ongoing debates sure. with regard I, to I, 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 the I policies of the State of Israel. Settlements and occupying land uh, that the United Nations said it shouldn't be occupying. Yes, so sure enough, during the summer, Israel experienced a barrage of missiles. Mm. There was an existential mm. threat to the Jewish people there. Israel defended yeah. herself. Yeah. And there are perceptions. Yes, and sometimes perceptions, as you say, do lend themselves yeah. towards images and towards impressions. But certainly, some of the hatred which is aimed towards Israel is a result. Mm sentiment and not the other way around. And as far, just finally, as far as uh, Jewry in this country, Jewish people living in this country, we heard people in France saying they didn't feel safe. Should the Jewish community feel safe? I do feel as proud Britons here in this country, knowing 
that the fight against anti-Semitism is not one which is being left to the Jewish people to fight. It's being fought from the government down. We have so many good friends, so many allies, and as I said earlier, we're actually all in this together. Thank you very much. Thank you.